Hi there, it's Cheryl here. Thank you for stopping by on my channel. I have an exciting project here that I cannot wait to unpack. A couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by this company from China, New Craft Day. They have a lot of products, mainly cross stitches and diamond painting. And I was so excited to see the diamond painting. Last year, I received a diamond painting from my in-law and the piece was pretty big like 10 by 10 inches and I thought it, it will make a really beautiful journal cover or a scrapbook album cover uh, but this company they not only have a big pieces they also have a smaller one in a bookmark size and I thought oh that will be great for a junk journal bookmark I can finish the diamond painting and back it up with paper and it will make a really pretty and cute bookmark. So anyways, I chose a couple of their bookmark and I just cannot wait to play with it and put it in the journal that I had in mind. So let's get going and see what I got. I do not know at all what to expect because this is my first diamond painting supply or product that I ever got so yeah just to let you know oh wow oh cool wow so yeah so pretty much just it is a kit that I just oh wow it's just a kit that I so I can just go and do it seems like it seems like I don't really have to buy like other tool or anything to make it happen oh yeah I remember I asked for this floral arrow and this I can like I said I can when I'm done I can leave it like this like clear acetate or I can put a pepper behind it but wow this will be fun so each of these kit has a number, like 1, 2, 3, 14, whatever. And this is the tray to put your diamond or the blinks. And this is to, to put it on, I believe. Oh, cool. It also came with this pretty dangle thingy. So when I'm done, I can just put it in here and nice. And then it will make a really cute bookmark on its own. Look at this. And these, I believe, are all the diamond to be used. Ah, I can see now. Oh, okay. I see. So it already has a number. So it's number one. I just put it on where the number on this um, arrow floral bookmark so nice so yeah all what all i need to you, you prepare by myself is just the glue to put this i believe yeah this doesn't have any glue the, the jewels doesn't have any glue on the back wow this is so fun i wonder what is this red thing huh Interested. Interesting. Interesting. Sounds like this plastic thing. Oh, interesting. That's really, really cool. Okay, so this is one. And this is the other type that, the other product that I choose. It's a sticker, a floral sticker. Diamond floral sticker to be precise. I got quite a few of stickers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 there's a lot of stickers it's really cool again I received the tool oh two 
beautiful tools and the tray and this red thing that I need to look up what it is and these are the jewels to put in in the stickers oh wow this is really neat so, and it's already color coded so all I need to do is just open one color but at a time and then put it on here that's really cool I feel like I want to play with it now but it will take a while huh, I really wonder how to put the jewels in I will look into this how to put the jewels and then maybe I will do like a quick craft along finishing or almost finishing the one of this bookmark or the sticker anyways this is really cool and I just cannot wait to play with them after I turned off my camera I could not resist myself for playing with it and here I almost finished this one it's just so fun and you don't really have to think I can totally see why my in-law is so addicted to this craft here I left two just to show you how I did it so I thought that this is the glue but it is not you just take a charm of this red thingy and then you can use it to stick your gem like this and it's and I was thinking that I might need to put a glue on the numbers but no it already has an adhesive I still feel so dumb for not noticing that it came with a thin layer of plastic and when I peel this layer it's sticky so I can just put the gem directly like here to say this gem is gem number one I just pick it up and I put it on the number one so it's thick it's the same with the sticker I just peel this layer and it's sticky I just need to put the gem in and that's it it's just so simple doesn't need really need any any like thinking just do it and actually while I was doing this I was thinking about something else now it's done then the other thing that I'll just need to do is to put this tassel thing and I'm ready to put this in my junk journal and it will make such a pretty addition to my journal I just cannot wait to finish this and then put it in the project that is still in the planning right now I'm still busy doing my designer theme project and afterwards I have to make a couple journal for my daughter's graduation key for the teachers so it'll be very fun I just really can't wait to finish this and put it in a journal and anyways when I'm done I will show it to you how it looks oh one last thing that I want to mention that the, it come with an extra gem I counted that I need like six more of this number 19 gem and I still have seven I also counted for the number 20 gem which I cannot find on my stack here it also came with one extra so that's cool I don't really have to worry about losing one of or two of the gem and did I mention that you can get 10% coupon 10% not coupon 10% discount just put Charles 10 and you will get 10% discount on any of the craft day product also if you spend $50 you can get two free gifts so that's all ladies that I want to show you this is really fun I want to keep stressing it this is really fun I can see my, myself getting more and just doing it when I am hitting crafting block or I just want to do something simple without thinking happy crafting until next video, bye!